This video is an introduction to the racing game. We'll cover how the racing game works, get you guys all set up with the starter project, and then take a quick look at the starter project so we know what we have to work with to build this game. This is a really fun project and I think you're going to get a lot out of it, so let's get started. Before we get started, I just want to say this is a beginner project, but if you've never done Scratch before, I highly recommend completing at least the first three lessons in my Intro to Scratch mini course before you attempt this. The mini course is designed to make you feel comfortable with the Scratch platform, which is something I don't cover when I teach the games. So I highly recommend doing that first. It is free and I will put the link to it on this page and also in the description, just in case you're watching this on YouTube. Okay, to play the racing game, we need two players. One player drives the green car and the other player drives the blue car. When the game starts, both cars are at their starting position and the players are able to start moving them using the keyboard keys. The blue car uses the arrow keys to move. It uses the up arrow to move forward, the left arrow to turn to the left, and the right arrow to turn to the right. The green car uses the other side of the keyboard. It uses the W key to move forward, the A key to turn to the left, and the D key to turn to the right. Both players try to get to the finish line without getting off the road. If a player gets off the road, his car is taken right back to the starting position. The first player to make it around the track and get to the finish line gets announced as the winner. So let's get you guys all set up with the starter project. Below this video, enter your email address and the download for your starter project should get to you pretty much instantaneously. So I'm going to head over to my inbox, open up my email and click this download button. This will download a starter project with this .sp2 extension, either into your downloads folder or some other folder where you choose to save it. Now let's open up Scratch, click on create to create a new project and then go to File, Upload from your computer, navigate to the place where you save this file, and click Open. It's going to ask you if you want to replace the contents of the current project, and yes, we do, so click OK. Now, a quick note about these graphics. I made them using an iPad app called Graphic, and if you're interested in learning how to create quality images for your own games, I actually have a tutorial on how I created the images for this particular game and I will put a link to that on this page and also in the description. Okay, now let's go back to our starter project and take a look at what we have to work with. Our stage has three different backdrops. It has the basic backdrop, which is where the race takes place, and it also has two backdrops for announcing the winner, one for the blue car and one for the green car. We have three sprites that came with this project. We have the green car, the blue car, and then the finish line is also a sprite. Our cars have their basic costume, but they also have this blue rectangle costume, and you will see why we need that in step three, but let me just give you a small hint. It is the same shade of blue as the edge of the track. Finally, the starter project came with a few lines of code behind each car. This code takes the cars back to their starting position when the green flag is clicked. And I added it in for your convenience so that when you're programming the cars to move and turn and testing it out, you can always take them back to their starting position by clicking the green flag. So that's our starter project. That's what we have to work with to build our game. And we're all ready for step one, where we're going to program the blue car to move and turn. So let's jump right to it. <laughs> 